it's official. I'm here to talk to you about Fire and Fate by Serena Valentino. Now, first things first, we always have to do the obligatory alter ego. Take a look at him. He's fantastic. This is the video that everybody has been waiting for. Am I right? Everybody wants to hear me talk about Fire and Fate by Serena Valentino. What can I say about this book? This one was fantastic. Like I always say, this is book 10 in her villain series. In this one, we obviously follow Hades. Hades has been heavily hinted at in this series. If you've read any of the books, he is hinted at throughout them all. Now, this one is quite a bit shorter than Never Never. This one is actually almost as short as uh, The Beast Within. I think it's a little bit longer actually, or maybe it's shorter. I think The Beast Within is actually a little bit longer and this is the shortest book. But that doesn't mean that Serena Valentino did not put her heart and soul into this book. She did and she dropped a couple of bombs on us and definitely answered a few questions, but not as many as I wanted. I am definitely going to have to reread this one because even though I did tab this one up quite a bit, there's still a lot that I obviously, you know, you miss because you're enjoying it so much. This one was definitely a quick read for me. I, it did not take me very long and I got a signed book plate because I am part of Lost in a Fairy Tale book club and we did this the entire series actually and so if you wanted a signed book plate you got one and I'm so excited I wish I had nine more to put in all my other books but you know a girl can dream that she will actually get them all signed maybe personalized one day and I just I absolutely love this woman you know in this one we follow Hades and we start off with Hades in the world the realm of hercules and to try to get him to the many kingdoms we have to obviously you know he has to figure out how to get there or you know maybe the odd sisters visit him in his realm how do they get there that is one of the things that is answered how does he get to the many kingdoms? That is one of the things that is answered in this book. Why does he have a castle in the many kingdoms that Maleficent ultimately takes over? Sorry, spoilers, I should say that beforehand. But if you're watching this video, obviously you have read the, uh, the previous nine books and you know some of this stuff. But if you haven't, this is the 10th book, so we have to go back to book one, which is fairest of them all. I remembered because my brain is, you know, finally remembering some of this stuff. But ultimately, he is telling his story like Cruella told her story. But instead of Cruella telling her story to Serena Valentino, we have Hades telling his story to Cersei, Primrose, and hazel we also get a huge i just remembered a huge discovery on cersei and reading back on you know thinking back on it and like remembering the stuff that i have you know the books previously it totally makes sense totally makes sense i'm just that was just a little nugget that was like oh yeah that really makes sense putting that there and obviously you know I have no clue no clue who the next book is going to be about it is a male we do know that and I know it is not Dr. Facilier but I'm interested to you know the more hints that she puts out there book 11 we do know is actually going to be quite a bit longer than this one which is okay by me 
but any book that she puts out in this series I will immediately buy and read. I am just so in love with this series and if you haven't read this series, if you, you know, are picking up this series because of me, I am just humbled by that because I love this series and I ultimately just made a video talking about how much I love this series and I think it is still just one of those series that is you know to this day is kind of still underrated because this is geared more towards young adult but I'm a full-blown Disney adult and I absolutely love this series love this series and that just shows how well the writing is that it can transcend you know the age group that it is geared towards but still resonate with us older Disney adults that Hades really yeah he does get humanized in this one you do understand you know why he is the way he is why he wants to conquer Mount Olympus which is interesting because, you know, you know the story, you know the Greek myths, and still you get these stories. But I just, what can I continue to say about this book that I absolutely love? Not a whole lot. Because I don't want to give away a whole lot because this one is just so much. It packs a punch in this itty bitty book and I can't wait to reread it. It, is, it was so much fun. You got to see all these favorite characters that Serena Valentino has, you know, created throughout the years. And you got to see these characters that you've been waiting for. I don't have anything else to say about this book. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And, and don't leave me a comment down below if you don't want to leave a really big comment. Just um, leave me a little fiery leave emoji. Comments. And that is Joe.